Okay, I want to show my haul that I just did. First, my cat is cat bombing it. Um, I'm just kind of getting motivated by all these prepper channels, so I just wanted to show some of the things that I got. Um, I got these were actually they're 10 pound bags each. So if you buy them in the 10 pound bag, they're 89 cents pound. I didn't see them right away. I was actually going to get a smaller bag, but it was like $1.29 a pound. So I thought that was a good deal. I got two of these. And what I'm going to do is today I'm going to cook some up. I'm going to make a soup actually. But the rest, I think I'm going to put them in smaller sections and vacuum seal them. Um, this was just on sale and I thought that'd be good for dinner tonight. It's just like a garlic herb bread. Uh, the broccoli at Walmart, these are 98 cents. These used to be 50 cents. I think they were, let me look, I actually have three feet. The tomatoes were 38 cents, sorry. These used to be 25 cents. They are now 38 cents. And then we get these for our lunches because we like them. High protein, low calorie, a little less sugar than some of the other ones. But my husband doesn't like the great value brand, so I still get them like the name brand. And then I usually just get one for each of us, but I got another one so we can snack on like for this weekend as well. Well, it's Sunday. Um, and then I got a whole bunch of these for really cheap at this like big yard sale, but I needed to get the lids. So I got three packs of lids and the lids, I think they were three something. The lids were $3.97, which to me kind of seemed like a lot, four bucks. Well, there's 12 lids in each, so four bucks for 12 lids. And I got a, I got a lot. That's, this is just one box, I got several boxes. And then the all-purpose flour, because I've been making my own bread, and I've been getting like kind of bougie flour. Uh, the flour is 364, so I got two 10-pound bags of flour. Um, I already have two 10-pound bags of like this really, like the stuff from Azure that's really nice. And then I also have one of these that my mother-in-law gave me. And I also got this because that sounded really good. I think I'm going to make like some strong coffee and have a piece of this. Uh, the long grain rice, the five pound bags are still, they're like $2.58. So I used to pick up a bag pretty much every time I went shopping. I quit doing that a while ago. So I'm trying to stock back up and get my, get my stock rice back up because we eat a ton of rice. All of these were 92 cents each. So, and then I got this bigger one. This was like, I think it was $1.58 for the two pound bag, for two pound box, I thought that was a good deal. And then this is all the stuff I'm gonna dehydrate today. I'm gonna do pineapple slices, cause they were really good, I made them for my road trip and my husband really liked the slices over like the chunks. These were $1.28 to each and you can actually buy these at the Dollar Tree, they're $1.25. But I didn't wanna make two trips today, so I just figured I would pay the extra three cents per can. Um, and I was shocked. I usually always get these for like a dollar and it was like two something. I think like 233 or 238. Um, the bananas are still like 58 cents a pound. I got a bunch because I'm going to put them through my dehydrator. And I use lemon like crazy. I usually buy and use like one or two a week. So I'm actually going to slice all these up, dehydrate them. That way I can just keep them longer so that I don't have to keep buying them all the time. And, and think of it like this, I'm gonna buy these at today's cost, dehydrate them. So instead of having to buy and use, or sorry, like once a week I use one, um, then when I buy these again, they're gonna be more expensive. So if I just dehydrate a big bag instead of getting one, one or two a week, then I, that's kind of how you beat inflation. You stock up while prices are low, you have a long term storage solution for it and then when you go to grab one you're grabbing it at today's prices instead of you know when they mark it up another dollar or whatever okay so I'm going to dehydrate all these dehydrate the lemons dehydrate the pineapples and then I don't know if I showed or I did show but let me show why the reason that I get tomato sauce and I stock up on it is because I use one full can every time I make Spanish rice so, and we make Spanish rice a lot. And then my son also will open a can and he will make uh, pizza. 
he'll just season it up and use it like pizza sauce instead of buying pizza sauce because for 38 cents this is way cheaper than buying like jarred pizza sauce they're my kitties. I have to show them in my video. They're watching. Um, my husband's out there weed whacking, so if you can kind of hear that. But anyways, I'm going to put all this cold stuff away. I'm going to make bread today. I'm going to make my homemade soup, but I'm going to start off with that for breakfast. So if anyone has any questions about this grocery haul or you have ideas or, you know, I, I still have to get some long-term storage for this, like some buckets or something because right now I'm just keeping it in the bags and using it so all right thanks for watching